Key. Have you ever watched Key and Peel? Yeah. It's kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah. Key and Peel's it's it, pretty good. They the, they do that thing though. They ruin it by, like, right when they're um. Uh, right when they've got something funny in their hand, they gotta let you know that like, they bring in the white versus black thing. Yeah. And yeah. that's really annoying and I know it's hard to resist that temptation it's the same thing with Dave Chappelle Dave Chappelle's like um, and I don't even think I don't even think Dave Chappelle's that funny necessarily I think he's like a he's like a master storyteller his sta- if you look at his stand up it's um, the, the quality uh, that's good is the storytelling it's not actually the jokes and if you go back to his earlier stand up and look at when it was just jokes and not storytelling yeah. it's not good yeah. it's not funny like, it's kind of it's funny it's funny, like, if you're drinking and you're in a nightclub and you're watching a stand-up do his thing, then it's funny. Like, the joke about the baby, the baby on the street corner in the, in the project, stuff like that. But his storytelling is the best. That's what elevates him. But he always, he always brings it back around. There's, a, there's one clip of him, he's like, um, it's, I don't even... I, I think that's um, Jordan Peele's thing that he leans into reflexively because it, it it came across in like his movies too. Like he can't help but just do the like black versus white theme yeah. every time. He's got one thing. Uh, he's super talented. Dave uh, Chappelle has one stand-up section where he's he goes um, and that made me and that made me know I wanted him to know that that's how white people make me feel. It was extremely f-ing cringe, and it instantly reminded me of the um, Cameroonian uh, Swedish refugee who infected women with AIDS intentionally. <laughs> this was on Twitter recently, but this was holy Simon shit. Simon Mall is the guy, and he was a uh, he got taken into Sweden. And he gave hundreds of women uh, HIV. On purpose? Uh, not, maybe not hundreds, maybe like 70. I think it might have been... It might have been... 70, like, confirmed. Yeah, on purpose, yeah. And uh, he wrote poetry, too. It's ultimate revenge. Um, not this guy, though. But this guy's also He's bad. He's probably also done something This crazy. is also a bad guy that we got <laughs> we got to erase. Death of a Nightmare. Someone had it on Twitter. There was a really crazy one. A poem about infecting. You wrote a poem about it? Yes. Holy crap. Um... And he, he, did, he did stuff like, uh, you make me want to use condom because I came from Africa? Like trying to guilt women into not using a condom while knowing that he had AIDS. This is like poetry from the devil. Polish. It was Poland, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, the women. <laughs> yeah. You black the women. <laughs> yeah. so, but it's real. Holy. Shit. Um, yo, Quill eighty seven with the twenty five. Going back to this, it's, this is not the same thing as ri- uh, ripping on someone because of their race. Because that's funny. If they have when black people, I love black comedy. Deaf comedy jam is my fave. That's the best comedy is deaf comedy jam and when they they rip on white people that's a different thing that's not this like victim culture like feeling sorry for yourself and painting yourself i've been a slave for 400 years that's different from what i'm talking about um yikes how do i not see that ever again um fuck um 
What was the question?